you're always going to want to have some questions for the employer for when they ask you at the end, when they say, you know, we don't have any more questions for you. Do you have any questions for us about the company or the position? If you don't have any questions, that's actually going to make you look bad. It's going to make you look like you don't care. Um, so here are some do's when it comes to what kinds of questions you may want to ask. Um, so ask positive questions because what you want to do is you want to raise the level of positivity of the interview. Um, when you leave, you want to leave on a really positive note because the more you can get the interviewers talking about things um, that they feel positively about, the more that they're going to perceive that they liked you. So I suggest questions like, what do you love most about working for this company? Or what do you love most about your job? And if it's a panel interview and there's several people interviewing you and they all get to answer that question, you just raised the positivity level of the whole room. And that's a great strategy. Also, you're going to want to ask smart questions. So, you know, making sure that you've done your research ahead of time so that you're asking intelligent questions is going to be important. And it's also important that you ask genuine questions. Don't ask things that you don't care about just because you think it sounds good because they can see right through that. You should know exactly what you're going to ask ahead of time. Um, there may be an additional question that comes up in your mind you know, during the interview and that's okay. Go ahead and ask that, certainly, if, if it's a genuine thing that you're wondering about. Um, but it is good to plan out what questions you're going to ask ahead of time. You want to ask three to four questions, counting the one that we always suggest you ask is the when should I expect to hear back from you or what kind of timeline are we looking at for hiring someone. If you have less than three, you may seem like you don't care enough. If you have any more than four, you could start to seem annoying because they do have a schedule probably to keep to in terms of allotted time for each interview. So keep that in mind. Some of the don'ts would be don't ask about benefits, vacation, or pay in the interview. This is something you can ask before you apply. That's when you should be asking about it if they don't have that sort of information listed. Um, you should know that before you even apply for the job, really, so that you know whether you even want to apply for it. So you can call HR if it's not listed. Um, don't ask anything that sounds negative. So nothing like, you know, what do you not like about the job here? Or what are some of the challenges that you face as a company? Some people may suggest that, but I don't because it brings the level of energy down in the room. And then when you leave, they're all kind of feeling bad about their job or stressed out maybe about what's going on because you don't know what could be going on. Don't ever ask the question of what happened to the last person in this role. You know, why are you hiring someone to fill it? Because it could have been a bad negative situation and they don't really want to rehash that. And then don't ask anything that you can easily find out on their website or in the job description because this is going to make you look really dumb. <laughs> it's, they're going to say, well, okay, well, they could have they should have um, been doing their research so that they can easily find out that information.